Let us worship God. O oh Lord, open our lips. From the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the sea, my name shall be great among the Gentiles, and in every place incense shall be offered unto my name, and the pure offering for my name shall be great among the heathen, says the Lord of hosts. We have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to offer him praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive his holy word, to bring before him the needs of the world, to ask his forgiveness of our sins, and to seek his grace. And through his Son, Jesus Christ, we may give ourselves to his service. Let us confess our sins to Almighty God, kneeling. Let us only confess our sins together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thoughts and word and deed. Through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate faults, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory a while we all stand together. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for heaven. Amen. The appointed psalm for this service is taken from Psalm 23, verses 1. This shall be read in alternate order. Psalm 23, verses 1 to 6 shall be read in alternate order. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He will refresh my soul and guide me in right pathways for his name's sake. You spread a table before me in the face of those who troubled me. 
You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup will be full. sit back. The second lesson is taken from the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by St. John chapter 11. We start the reading from verse 17. John chapter 11 from verse 17. Then when Jesus came, he found that he had lain in the grave for four days already. Now midnight was nigh unto Jerusalem, 
about 15 flungs off. And many of the Jews came to Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Then Martha, as soon as they, she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at, at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, who are dead, yet shall he live. And whatsoever liveth, whatsoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believeth thou this? She said unto him, Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into the world. This is the word of the Lord. appreciate God for another opportunity to be in his presence in this beautiful Sunday morning. It is my prayer that the blessing he has prepared for us shall be our portion in the name of Jesus. I'd like to appreciate the Lord Bishop and the Diocese for the privilege he has given unto me to relate the word of God to the people of God. It is my prayer that the good Lord will continue to bless his episcopacy in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. O God, our Father, we are willing and ready to hear from you. Speak to us in a language we will understand and encourage us to continue our journey despite our challenges through Jesus Christ our Lord. For our meditation this morning, we shall consider the theme, Delay is not denial. Delay is not denial. And I would like to take my text from the second lesson read this morning, John chapter 11, verses 21 to 23. John chapter 11, verses 21 to 23. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. For I know that even now, whatsoever thou will heart of God, God will give thee. 
Jesus said unto, he, unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. The Gospel of Jesus according to St. John, chapter 11, is the account of Lazarus' sickness, the call of Jesus by Lazarus' sisters, the delay in Jesus' coming to attend to Lazarus, the death of Lazarus, the burial of Lazarus, the coming of Jesus after the death of Lazarus, and the resurrection of Lazarus. In our text for meditation this morning, John chapter 11, verses 21 to 23, Martha, one of the sisters of Lazarus, after she heard that Jesus Christ had arrived, went to meet Jesus. She expressed her displeasure in Jesus' lateness to attend to their case. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou shalt be here, my brother had not died. John chapter 11, verse 21. He told Jesus Christ that he delayed in his coming and that his delay has caused death, death, effort, pain, grief, sorrow, and the loss of their brother. The word delay simply means the heart of delay, postponement, lingering in activity, to put off until a later time, to devour, to stop, to detain or hinder for a time. The word delay is not new to the people of God, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament era. Many men and women of faith had experienced all manners of delays in the course of their sojourning here on earth. For example, Abraham. Abraham was called at ages 75. And Father Abraham had a delay in getting the promise of God for his life for many years. Let's consider some Bible passages that talk about this. Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. In Genesis chapter 17, verse 1, hear God again. And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared unto Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Then in verse 6, God said, And I will make thee exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nation of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. Look at the response of Abraham to all the promises of God after many years of waiting. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is an hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is ninety years old be it? Genesis chapter 17 or 17. But in all these delays, people of God, God finally answered Abraham and his wife. They had their own Isaac. Genesis chapter 21, verses 1 and 2. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham his son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. Another example, the children of Israel. They had delay in getting to their promised land. Instead of 40 days, they spent 40 years in the wilderness. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 2. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness, to humble thee, 
and to prove thee to know what was in thy heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandment or no. Do you know at the end of the day, God took them to their promised land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Another example is Joseph. He had a dream before age 17, and the dream was not fulfilled until he got to prison in Egypt. When you read through Genesis chapter 39 to 41. Time will not permit me to tell you of the delay experienced by Hannah, Elizabeth, Manuel, David, and other men and women of faith. Many people are experiencing delays of various degrees presently. To some, it is a delay in childbearing. To some, it is a delay of getting job. To some, it is a delay in getting healing. To some, it is a delay of visa application. To some, it is a delay in getting admissions into the higher institution of their choices. To some, it is a delay in getting married. To some, it is a delay in becoming grandpas and grandmas. And to some, it is a delay in salvation of their loved one's souls. May God attend to your delay speedily in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you know we are not the first to experience all kinds of delays in life? Delay is not denial. He who made the promise will surely fulfill it in Jesus' name. Amen. What do we do if we don't want our delay to become denial? That is our concern this morning. Let us look at the case study of Mary and Martha in the second lesson read today and get some principles for our personal life. Number one, continue to make your situation known to God. Mary and Martha made their situation known to Jesus. They called upon him. In John chapter 11, verse 30, before Lazarus died, they informed Jesus. And when you read further, in verse 20 to 22, even after Lazarus died, you know Mary and Martha still went to Jesus to explain the situation. Don't say, I have prayed, and I don't want to pray again. Your prayers cannot be too much before God. Number two, continue to stay in your waiting room. Though you have called upon the Lord, and it seems he never answered or replied you, please never leave the waiting room. He will come one day, but will he meet you waiting upon him? Then when Jesus came, he found that he had laid in the grave for days already. The matter, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary stood still in the house. That is John chapter 11, verses 17 and 20. Beloved, are you still waiting for the Lord? Or you have gone the way of the world to solve your problem? Another principle I discover from John chapter 11, don't doubt the efficacy of God. God is able and abundantly able. When Jesus finally came, he turned the situation around for Mary and Martha. And I want you to know, when God finally comes, He will turn your delay to dancing and celebration. And said, Where have ye laid him? They said unto him, Lord, come and see. John chapter 11, 34. Both Mary and Martha believe in Jesus, though their brother has been in the grave for four days. Faith is very essential during delay. Many are unable to get answers to their requests because they had lost hope and faith in God. To Saul, they cherish their problem more than God. They continue to talk about the challenges rather than what God is capable of doing in their lives. Beloved, don't give up. Number four, always remind yourself that God's time is the best. One of the reasons why man seeks their situation from delaying perspective is because God's time is different from man's time. Genesis chapter 21, verse 2, we consider the other time. 
For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God has spoken to him. And when you look at Psalm 90 verse 4, the psalmist says, For a thousand years in thy sight, about as yesterday, when it is past, and as a watch in the night. May you receive grace to wait upon the Lord all through your times of delay in the name of Jesus. Amen. Finally, people of God, continue to cooperate with God. Your cooperation with God is very essential if you do not want your delay to turn into denial. You must be ready to do what he asks you to do. God can speak to you through his word. Please obey him. Peter waited all the night to get fishes, but none came to his way. But at last, Jesus instructed him on what to do, and he obeyed. And his delay became a miracle, until today, people are still talking about it. Luke chapter 5, verses 4 to 6. Likewise, in our second lesson today, Mary and Martha cooperated with Jesus, and the long-awaited delay turned to their testimony. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he sinketh, for he had been dead for this. Jesus said unto her, I not said unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou should see the glory of God. And look at verse 41. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was slain. And at the end of the day, the miracle happened. People of God, as I conclude this sermon, the situation of our world is terrible. Many things are challenging us. Nevertheless, our God is able. He's our Lord and the greatest shepherd. The psalm we read this morning, Psalm 23, explained this. Even if you are passing through challenges, God is there with you. Never give up. God is still on the throne. Suicide is not the solution. Don't allow depression to take away your life untimely. Go back to your maker and hand over your situation to him. I want to leave with you Hospital chapter 5, verse 7. Casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Let us pray. O God, our Father, attend to our situation speedily, that we may experience your power as we journey in this terrible world of ours, that your name may be glorified through Jesus Christ, our Lord. us reaffirm our faith in the words of the Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Eternal of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended to the dead. 
On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sin, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Please kneel and let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us, the Lord's prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive the who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, show your mercy upon us. O Lord, guide and defend our rulers. Endure your ministers with righteousness. O Lord, save your people. Give peace in our time, O Lord. O God, make clean a heart within us. The collect for 28 Sunday in Trinity and other prayers. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, whose Son Jesus Christ ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord. Keep the church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet, who is alive, and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God, the author of peace and lover of concord, the knowledge of whom stands at eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we surely trusting in your defense may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same which your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, not run into any kind of danger, but that all our dreams may be ordered by your governor to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. In continuation of our prayer, we shall pray for our nation, Nigeria, the church, universal, and other prayers. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Thank you, eternal God, for your love over our nation, Nigeria. Despite all challenges, you are still with us. We say this morning that you receive our thanks and praise in Jesus' name. We pray for our nation. Lord, have your way. Bring us out of every dilemma. Direct all our leaders to know what to do. Use them for solution to all problems. Let them be an instrument of peace in our nation. Especially, we pray for Bola, our president, that our governor in Ogun State, may they not be an instrument of disappointment to our nations. Do not allow them to fail in their duties in our nation. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord God, who is the head of the church, we appreciate you sincerely for your church. Thank you for everything that you have been doing. We pray, O oh God, for Henry, our primate, Olushina, our archbishop, and Baba today, our bishop. Let your Holy Spirit use them for the glory of your name. Let your kingdom be established through their ministry. 
in the name of Jesus. Brethren, I pray for you this day as you go into the journey of this way. It is your case that Lord will attend to. For it is your time to testify Amen. that Lord will visit you. He will visit your home. He will visit your business. He will visit everything that concerns you. That which you have been waiting for, this week you shall get it. This week I pray for you, you shall be far from evil. Miracle is coming your way. For every limitation shall be lifted up. The Lord himself will show you his glory. In the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. In the name of God the Father. God the Son. And God the Holy Spirit. Let us bring a personal petition to the throne of grace. Believing that he we answer us. It is not too late for Lazarus. It is not too late for Mary, for Elizabeth, for Abraham, and others. Can you talk to God? It will not be too late for me. With thanksgiving in our hearts, let us bring a prayer to our close. Lord, in your mercy, Almighty God, you have given us grace to bring before you with one accord our common supplications. And you promise that when two or three are gathered together in your name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of your servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth. And in the water come, the fullness of eternal life. Let us say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and evermore. Amen. provided for us who brought this to you this morning. Accept these gifts and bless us in return in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray that whatever we lay our hands upon, Father, we pray you will bless us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name we we'll pray. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Children of God, as we are going out this week, I want us to pray with this psalm, Psalm 121, verse 7. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. I want you to pray as you are going out this week. That the Lord will preserve you. The Lord will preserve you and your family. The Lord will protect all your family members. Commit your ways unto God's hands. That his perfect protection shall be upon us. That this week shall be a week of blessing for all of us. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. The peace of God which passes all understanding 
Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Corinthians chapter 1 verse 18 for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing but to us who are being saved it is the power of God no cross no cross no cross the blessing of the Lord be upon you Thank you.